Hey everyone, uh, this is Aaron Bump, worship leader at Harvest Baptist Church in Wapakoneta, Ohio. Uh, we use click tracks and loops from Ableton to support our worship ministry. Uh, one of the issues that we've run into um, is without going into all the details, we have a keyboard player, a piano player that cannot use our in-ear monitor system. And so it's been a struggle trying to find a way to have her follow with uh, the tempo and the cues that we all are hearing in the in-ears and she's just kind of following along with us tapping our foot and <laughs> giving uh, nods and, and different things like that so we've had to figure out a way to um, fill her in or, or, or keep her in with the, the click tracks and loops that we're using so after doing a lot of searching and not really finding a valid solution um, I decided to build something myself, so I think that there might be a, a need for this in other in other areas. But I'll show you what I've done. Um, I simply bought a uh, pre-made board from Highly Liquid that uh, is a MIDI relay, and then connected it to some LED lights. Um, we have a nine volt uh, power supply. You could also use a nine volt battery. Uh, MIDI in and out and through so you could daisy chain multiple ones together and then there's a learn button because this board has a learn feature so that you can program it so I'll just quickly show you what uh, how it works uh, I simply made another MIDI uh, track with um, that uh, it just has the, the cues the same cues that cue the loop community cue pack and then uh, I've put the output to our interface, uh, just a Liquid 56 here next to my desk. So as we start to play this, um, you'll see that the lights on the box go with the cues, and you'll hear the you'll hear the vocal cues that we'd hear in our in-ear monitors as well. So you can see how it times along with it. Intro. Two, three, four. So I've got it set up to count one, two, three, four. Verse, two, three, four. And then intro, verse, chorus, and bridge are the main things that we use. Um, we'll get another verse cue here in a minute. Verse, two, three, okay. four. So you can see the same thing for chorus. Chorus, two, three, four. Okay. And bridge. Now you could program this if you didn't want it to count uh, one, two, three, and four. You could uh, program just one light to be a constant uh, metronome click and program the rest of them for whatever other cues that, that you wanted. But, um, you know, to, to program it, uh, you simply unplug the power and then plug it back in while holding the learn button and then play... Uh, eight simultaneous MIDI notes of what you want to program it uh, to use and so you could program this to, to respond to any MIDI notes that you wanted it to so now that we've got it built um, another application that I'm thinking to use it for is our, our youth band we do not have an in-ear monitor system wired in our youth band and so now I thought I could build several more of these and place them uh, behind our, our vocal monitors and uh, next to uh, even the, the instrumentalists and have them all linked together with the MIDI out uh, ports and uh, we could then start using click tracks and loops um, and, and being put together using visual cues instead of uh, in your monitor system so that might be an option uh, for the rest of you um, if you want more information uh, you can contact me uh, through Loop Community and I'd be more than happy to talk about uh, how I built it and how it works and maybe make the next one a little bit prettier. This is just kind of more of a prototype. Um, but anyway, that's the uh, uh, visual cues instead of inner cues.